Today we're going to be solving this problem, integration sine to the power of 4x over cos to the power of 8x dx. And when I first saw this problem, I thought that we have to apply some sort of u substitution to simplify it a bit more. I know we could simplify this in terms of tan, but I later realized that it's not going to get us that far. So what exactly is the right solution? And the right solution is actually very simple, but it's not that easy to think of. The right solution starts off with dividing both the top and bottom by cos to the power of 4x. So divide top and bottom by cos to the power of 4x. Now let's simplify it. I can further simplify this by having integration tan to the power of 4x and then secant to the power of 4x dx. Now here, let's try to apply u substitution. So I'm going to say u equal to tan x, therefore du is equal to secant squared x dx. But of course, we don't have a secant squared x, we have a secant to the power of 4x. That's all right, we can rewrite the integral as. So over here, I just split the secant to the power of 4x into secant squared x and secant squared x over here. Now, I notice that this can easily become du over here, but we don't know what this is. This, we know that's just u to the power of 4, but this one, we need to convert it in terms of tan. And lucky for us, there is a trig identity for that. So this is our trigonometric identity, 1 plus tan squared x is equal to secant squared x. And now we can substitute everything in terms of u. And I'm going to simplify this. And now this is pretty easy to integrate, right? Now, of course, our final answer isn't going to be in terms of u. I'm going to replace u for tan x, as we said up here. And this is our final answer.